Hi guys, my name is Annabelle from Horizon Cosplay and today we're going to be playing around with my new industrial grommet machine which I am very very excited about. Now I got this machine a couple weeks ago for my birthday and I basically got it because one I was out of grommets and two my hand press was just not working for me anymore so I'm hoping this is going to do a bit better. There goes the microphone. So the story behind this industrial grommet press is that a couple weeks ago it was my birthday and I just felt that my hand grommet press wasn't doing it anymore. I'd run out of grommets and this one seemed a lot more usable. Usable might not be the right word. It could just do a bit of a bigger variety of things. For instance, it came with three sizes of grommets, whereas my press could only do one size. So we have a big size of grommets, which I believe are 12 millimeters. We then have a medium size grommet, which I believe are 10 millimeters. And then we have a small size grommet, which I believe are six millimeters, all stored in Doritos jars, of course, because why not? Now, the aim of the game today is to actually get these grommets put on my corset for Briar Rose. However, first things first, we need to have a play around with them and see how they work. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to be wanting to use the six millimeter grommets for these, but just in case, I have the uh, ribbon shoelace. <laughs> I'd like using shoelaces on the back of my corsets. I just find they're very strong and and I just kind of want it all to be black so it goes. I might get a proper ribbon at some point, but for now this is what we're sticking with. And I'm just gonna double check, see if they fit through. And then we're gonna figure out how to use this thing. And actually that brings me to the other point. The main reason I'm doing this video is because when I brought the grommet press, or when my parents brought me the grommet press that I was requesting, it came with zero instructions. Lots and lots of pieces, no instructions, and we had to put that together, sort out what size grommets were what, and it just was a little bit annoying, so I'm hoping that this will help some of you guys to watch me figure it out first. Also, quick side note, as we're working on Briar Rose, I thought I would put my Cinderella cocktail dress on today. If you guys want to see how I made this beautiful little classy dress, then the video will be linked just up here, and please do go check it out. To be honest, this is now like my favorite make so far though I have a feeling this is gonna overtake it pretty darn quick so with this size grommet I have these two things here a big cylindrical round metal piece with a push button on the top and a smaller one which has a bit more of a point so the big one goes at the bottom I think and the second one screws into the top with the bottom one as well there is actually a screw just here which I think we can tighten just to help keep it in place now let's get a grommet and see see what we can do with this situation. Okay, so the grommets I have are two part grommets. One is a circle with a kind of sticky out thing at the top and the other one is just a round disc. So I believe we need one of each. Okay, so now we have the two parts. I think we place the circle down. This ring does have a tiny little dent in it and I'm gonna place that dent up but we'll see. Place that in there, seems to fit pretty well. And let's give it a go. We will give it a go with some of my scrap black fabric that I have. And yes, I'm cutting fabric with paper scissors, but it's scrap, so, you know, don't kill me. Oh, I'm nervous. Well, that didn't work at all. If you can see, it's all crushed and squished. Okay, let's try this again. What we'll do is we're gonna try this on an easier fabric. See, I'm under the impression that this is supposed to stay up there like by itself, and it just isn't, <laughs> which is, you know, pretty awkward. Okay, let's give it a go, see what happens. So we actually have it attached this time. But if you can't see, there is a very sharp point just here. Try it back on the black fabric because that's actually what we need to use it on. Ooh, it makes a satisfying crunch and no, still hasn't done it. Potentially this fabric's just too thick for it. If so, we have a problem because uh, this is what we've got to use. I mean, I suppose I can always hand sew the grommets, but I'd really rather not. All right, what we're gonna do is just try it with one layer. Damn, that's a lot better. So this time we actually have a grommet in the hole. <laughs> Backside still got that nice big sharp lump there. But again, I feel like we can work with that. I can work with it if it's sharp. Can't work if it's not gone through at all. There you go. That neatens it up a bit. Put it on backwards. Just press the opposite side. It's definitely neater than it was before, though still not perfect. That is very good to know. Would a bigger grommet make a difference? I don't know. Not perfect, but I think we might have a plan. <laughs> Welcome to tomorrow. So my camera ran out of battery at the same time that Ben came home and he walked in and went, Annabelle, you look way too good not to take out to dinner. So we went out to dinner 
and then I forgot to charge the batteries and so I couldn't film when we got home and now it is the next day. So let's carry on and faff this thing out. Now, because I have slept on it, I have come up with an idea. Well, a theory really. But I think this is going to work a lot better if we use a bigger grommet. Now I can always get a bigger ribbon and a bigger ribbon is a lot easier to change than working out how to use these grommet things. So I'm just gonna pack all my little grommets away and we are gonna get the big ones out. So these are the 10 millimeters. Let's see if we can make this work. <laughs> that arguably worked worse. Oh no. I'm wasting so many grommets trying to figure out how to work this. Backup plan time. For that, I'm gonna need another piece of scrap. Take this piece. So we are going to try cutting the fabric in the hole beforehand. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't. All right, <laughs> successful grommet. So I think that's gonna have to be our theory is that we cut the hole beforehand. I feel like I've wasted enough grommets now as I'm cutting holes beforehand. I feel like I'm probably gonna stick with these slightly bigger ones. Okay, let's go. So I just had a bit of an epiphany, which basically I'm pressing it on the top. It's not coming out perfect, so I'm flipping it over and pressing it face down. If you look, these three are the ones I did before, and that one perfect one, that's the one I did with it doing face down. So I guess I know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this corset. And don't worry, guys, I am going to be going over all of these grommets with thread as I normally do. So hopefully all the mess will be hidden under that. And we are finally done. Thank God for that, right? So it definitely isn't perfect. And this is the point where I'm gonna say it doesn't have to be and that's all right. And you know what? It doesn't have to be and that's all right. But I'm just a little bit annoyed at myself because this is a really big project and I want to do it as well as I can. And the fact that some of these grommets are really, really bad, it irritates me a lot. And I'm trying not to let it because I, like I've said before, I am gonna be going over these in thread. So all of that is going to be hidden. What I might actually do just where there's a little bit of fabric that's fraying just dab a little bit of fabric glue on there to help it stay in position but overall that's it it's done so that is the corset for bry rose officially finished while playing with my new grommet press so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please remember to leave us a like if you have any comments suggestions how can i use this better for instance don't forget to leave me a comment down below because i think i could use a little bit of help on this otherwise we will be back with more crafting videos next week which is very very exciting i'm going to be making the blouse for this outfit next and i might actually have some real silk to make it with anyway make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss it because it is proving to be a very fun and very exciting project that I really want to share with you all. So I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. I can see that the sun is out for me at the moment at the very least and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!